Wayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got a Royal Quiet Deluxe here that was uh, damaged in shipping or not even sure. They bought it through eBay. Unknown condition, unknown if it worked. It doesn't work. I think it got damaged in shipping. This whole back panel was off and had to be remounted. And uh, so it doesn't space at all. It doesn't type at all. Almost feels like line lock. Um, I did get the tabs to work here, so tab space and cross shift seems to be about right, and no backspace. So this is typical of um, the escapement paw getting bent, and I think I know how that happens. Is in shipping, if this doesn't have carriage, the carriage lock isn't engaged, and the carriage gets shoved on this side, it will bend the adjustment bracket for that paw. Because one thing is something's got to give. It's either going to break or it's going to bend, and it bends. And I've seen this many times now. I've kind of got it down to having seen this many times. But now it's just so hard to get in here. Can't even see with the camera what I want to see. Okay, there she is. Right in the middle of the frame. Right through there is the escapement paw. And... If we look carefully, it's the ball on that little escapement really is touching the star wheel. Let's see if I can get this in there and steady it up. Okay, so escapement's kind of trying to space, but that's that wheel, that little ball right there. I can't even see it. I mean, it's a... Can't get to it. So that ball right there is touching the star on that star wheel. See if I can get focused in there. Just want to focus up. Okay, that's good enough. So, what I'm going to do is push the carriage back just slightly with my hand. Back. Right there. So, you can see that paw up here. Right there. It's got its... It's touching the star wheel. We need this to be sitting right about there. Not there. But right about, let me get it back. Right about there. Not there. There. Because right now the space bar is impeded. It, that ball won't let it space. It's just hitting that that tooth. So what we need to adjust is. And I showed it on a different video. This bracket right there. That bracket right there. It's got to be adjusted downward. And I'm going to do that with a T-bender. That's just impossible to get in here with a camera and, a, and the tools. Okay, I'm going to have to back this off a little. So I'm going to get this T-bender down in here. Here she is, big T-bender, and I'm going to put it right on that. Right on that piece right there. And I'm going to form it downward. And a good approach angle here. That's not a good approach angle. It's 
Oh, I got a poach angle. Okay. So, no, I don't got it. Can't seem to get it. Okay, I got it now. Okay, I got it pretty good. Pretty good bend on that, so. Well, now it's spacing, but it's still touching. So that ball is still, still touching. When I go to space, it's hitting that tooth. So it's just got to go a little bit more. It should clear it with no, uh, no touching. Okay, so I'm going to get in here and form this a little bit more. There's a space, it's working. See how the ball does not touch that tooth now when it goes, when it moves. And the paw engages. This should solve not only the space bar, the typing, and the backspace now will be able to engage the paw and backspace. So that solves three things with one adjustment very tricky tricky to get to and, and put on camera I keep trying to put it on camera and it's not a very good uh, I haven't really gotten that down so but now typing spacing and backspace still feels a little mushy here on the type bars but they had a uh, customer sprayed oil all through here, completely drenched the machine because they read on the internet that's how to fix typewriters. So now I have to deal with uh, flushing up the oil that's in here, and maybe uh, maybe we have a survivor. All right, well, not the tidiest video in the world, but that's the general idea when you get shipping damage on the escapement. And that little paw and the star wheel are not in harmony. Phoenix typewriter. Good day.